Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action where we are right off where we left off in this uh, mineshaft on Monkey Island about to head into this big old tube here um, and this I imagine will probably be the final episode of this series can you believe that? Already the final episode and uh, we're going to start off by heading down in here um, and remember guys if you haven't already done so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload and as always guys thank you all for your ongoing support so we're in some sort of strange machine now um, oh and there's the weed whipper I can't okay. reach it oh he can't reach it I can't it. reach it okay um, let's see if the banana pickers can get it I forgot that it was down here there's all these weird little booths as well around the room. We'll find out what those are for soon. There we go. I'm you sure I'm glad I've got this banana picker. Yeah, that's true. The banana picker has turned out to be the ultimate flipping um, item to use in this game, hasn't it? Um, let's take a look at the weed whipper. It's a Stanco brand weed whipper. It Stanco. slices and dices your strongest weeds into table salad. What a surprise Stan's involved in some way again. Let's crawl into the big tube. Okay, so let's uh, leave. I don't know what happens to Timmy the monkey. I guess he's staying in there or something. Oh, no, there he is. Okay, so let's head out and we'll go over to the lava field. So now we can use the weed whipper. So let's head over here. Go over the tree. use the weed whipper on this patch of weeds over here that we've mentioned earlier on in the game. Here we go. Right, let's collect these bad boys up. I'm going to use it with the patch of weeds. Nice. There we go, you can see them disappearing. Nice bit of um, hoovering. <laughs> that one took a while. And now here comes the lava. The lava's going to go down into the big tube. Here it comes. The lava goes back to the earth from whence it came. It's pretty philosophical from Guy Brush there, actually. Um, so now we have managed to get power to the machinery, and actually, somehow that machinery I mean, you know, the lava field is, is there, the mine is all the way down there at the bottom of the island, you can see, but for some reason, where that lava field is, is right underneath the mine, and then also that big machinery thing is also under the big monkey head. Now, you know, <laughs> how, how is that possible? Anyway, let's go to the giant monkey head and we are once again going to use our banana picker with the nose because now we should have power to the little room in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Pick his nose. Could you imagine if like, a big bogey fell out? <laughs> That'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Don't know why that even came to my mind, but it did. Um, okay, so that we've got the silver monkey head, which is of course the big monkey head. We've got the gold statue, which is now attached up the monkey's nose, and we're going to chuck the bronze hat on top of the giant monkey head, like so. Good throw, man. Good throw. Wow. It's effectively a gigantic ultimate insult. And that is exactly what it is. And there goes the banana picker. Whoa. Ooh. What was that? Some sort of green light flash there. Okay, let's head into the monkey head now. And we should hopefully have power. We have. I wonder what all this stuff does. Look at all this. Okay, so remember the prominent slot over here? Now we can use 
the gubernatorial symbol in it. And that should complete the ultimate insult. Here we go. Voodoo power. <laughs> Playing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look, all the monkeys are going inside. Get out of here before someone finds out what I did. <laughs> Relax there, son. We're going for a little ride. Sure. Pull that lever there, would you? Ride? What do you mean by that? We're taking this giant monkey robot to Melee Island to rescue my granddaughter. Giant monkey robot. Hmm. Are you sure you have all of your memory back? Maybe I should hit <laughs> you again. No, he's right. It's a giant monkey robot. There it is in all of its glory. Oh no, one got left behind. Three plus skybrush kicks unusually what large butt. What in the name of Poseidon's pig sticker is that? <laughs> Unless I miss my guess, that's an ultimate insult amplification tower. You just made that up, didn't you? An amplifier, of course. Skybrush, this tower is part of Ozzy's fiendish plot. Oh, I see. He plans to build really ugly towers all over the Caribbean, <laughs> wiping down property values to the point where he can scoop up all the land for a fraction of its real value. How ingenious. What the flimdy flam are you talking about? Ozzy's gonna use that tower to amplify the effects of an ultimate insult a million fold so he can simultaneously expose every pirate in the Tri-Island area to the devastating effects of the ultimate insult. Are you sure it's not the property values thing? If you wish to fulfill your destiny and save your pirate friends, you must climb this tower and destroy its devilish machinery. Somehow I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to climb up here. We're going to use these towers with the planks to do that. Uh, also... Guybrush maybe isn't much, as much of an idiot as he comes across with his little theory there, but actually that's not what's going on here. Um, so we're going to pick up this really big plank, and if I remember right, we're going to jam that big old plank into this little tower here. And that makes, I believe, like a little springboard type thing. Okay, so now we can hopefully climb it. I can't remember if we need any other planks. How cool is the giant monkey robot though? But you didn't see this coming. <laughs> okay, jump on a really big plank. Here we go. Wee! We're up. Um, look at the biggest conch shell ever. That's the second largest... No. <laughs> no, that is the largest conch shell I've ever seen. <laughs> but what is the biggest monkey head he's ever seen? That is what we will never find out, I'm guessing. Um, bounce on the really big plank. Ooh, don't snap it. I can't believe my granddaughter married me. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, it's pretty stupid, actually. Um, can we use this excessively large switch, then? Take that, Aussie's tower. What's wrong, you reanimated lump of voodoo flotsam? I'll tell you what's wrong. This so-called ultimate insult doesn't work. 
I tried locking it against every piece of junk in this accursed hovel, but nothing happens. <laughs> well, I guess Grandpa was too smart for you diabolical dodos after all. Quiet, you. Oh, no. What in the name of Adam Smith's invisible hand is that? That? Oh, that's nothing. Just a piece of junk I bought on my honeymoon. Darn! The gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. Of course! Let me see that. Well, that seems to have shaved the proverbial dingo. Oh. Let's test this bugger out. Ah, pig nose. What? Would you be so good as to stand over there? Look, Mr. High and Mighty Mandrel, I'm getting awfully tired of following orders. I think it's about time we renegotiated the terms of my employment. Or what? Or I'll fill your belly full of lead, you sissified fossil! No one messes with Pink Nose the Pirate and lives to tell the tale! Boy, I'll rip off your arms and I'll beat you! You were saying? Please, please don't hurt me, Mr. Mandrel. We'll do whatever you say from now on, I promise. Take a long walk off a short pier, you craven wretch. <laughs> right oh, sir. Uh, well, part of me feels kind of sorry for him. Though the power of the Not really, but... Not really, finally mine. A little part. Oh, let me use it on Elaine. All in due time, Captain. But first, let's That's give nice. her a taste of things to come. Ah, you're a sadist after my own blackened lump of a heart, Mandrill. For years, the Caribbean has been buffeted by the unpredictable winds of runaway piracy. Now, by the power of the ultimate insult, I hereby banish those chaotic tempests and usher in a new age of orderly consumerism. I am Ozymandrel. Look upon my works, ye mighty pirates, and despair. No! Haha, <laughs> we got there first. Where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be a Caribbean shattering kaboom! Nope. Work! Damn your eyes! Work! I knew this ridiculous plan would never succeed. I guess this just goes to show that you should never send an Australian girly man <laughs> to do the work of a real pirate. Pirate's Sorry, rule. Get back here and help me fix this thing. Oh, Ozzy. We've arrived. You two stay here and guard the robot. Good luck. Try not to break any of my stuff. Nice kid, <laughs> but about as sharp as a soggy pan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tell me about it. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll show that chum bucket panty waist some real voodoo. Uh oh. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Guybrush, look out for <coughs> the ultimate insult. Oh, I don't know how you dimwits managed to sabotage my magnificent insult amplification apparatus, but I'll at least have the satisfaction of annihilating your arrogant pirate souls. Somehow, I always knew it would end like this. Really? Prepare to meet your doom, three points. Uh oh. What the didgeridoo is that? <laughs> hey, let's get out of here. You won't escape that easy, you swashbuckling ninnies. Right, barrier reef. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, ye be looking like ants from up here. Guybrush. Yes. Am I the only one seeing a giant walking statue of Lechuk on our front lawn? Uh, no. <laughs> Elaine! Guybrush! Help! Hang on, I'll be right back. Guybrush! Don't you dare leave me! Don't worry, my beloved. Guybrush isn't going anywhere. Let 
go of me, you rock-brained monstrosity! You insignificant mortal flea! How dare you wield your pathetic voodoo magics against the immortal might of the demon pirate Nechuk? I'll grind your bones to make me grog, you triple diamond bastard! Ah, oh, shut up! How may I serve you, master? Well, eventually, I'll be wanting you to squish every pirate on the face of the planet into a sticky red goo. But for now, let's just kill Guybrush Reaper! <laughs> Quick. Oh. Come on, guys. We've got to get this giant monkey robot moving now. Where's my granddaughter? Actually, that's kind of a funny story. Freeport! Where did you find that ridiculous looking contraption? It was a present from H.T. Marley. Grandpa? I'm in here, dear. Well, what an unexpected family reunion. Too bad I have to ruin it by savaging your puny minds with the power of the ultimate insult. Oh. Now what? Now is what you're insult. doing, evil one. Now is the time foretold in the ancient prophecies of Monkey Island. Now is the time for the ultimate in Monkey Combat! That's right, it's time for a giant ultimate game of Monkey Combat. <coughs> so, luckily I've got my notes prepared. Okay, now, when I was a kid and I played this, it took me forever to figure out what you had to do here. Um, I can't remember if I showed it when we did the monkey combat on Monkey Island, but if you draw three times in a row, the other monkey, it's kind of dark actually, smacks itself over the head, <laughs> which is like borderline animal abuse, I guess. <laughs> but um, I wonder what would happen if we draw three times and LeChuck's statue smacks itself over the head. Let's um, see if we can find out, shall we? Let's go from Anxious Ape to Charging Chimp, which is Chiak Oop. I love the voice the giant monkey robot has. Draw! We need to get from Gimpy Gibbon to Drunken Monkey. We don't actually know the combination for that. That's the one combination that we don't know how to do. Um, which is really annoying. So this could end badly. Uh, let's just change to something else then, I guess. Um, what beats Drunken Monkey? Um, we can go to Anxious Ape. Gimpy Gibbon to Anxious Ape. So let's do that. Ak Oop Eek. <laughs> I don't know if it has to be three times in a row draws, or just three in general. I guess we'll see. But yeah, you can't beat him. Okay, so we're going to go from Anxious Ape to Bobbin Babu. Which is... Um, Akchi Oop. By the way, I don't know how LeChuck knows all of the... Sort of moves and stuff. But apparently it does. <coughs> so he's staying in that. So we need to go from Charbaging Chimp to Gimpy Gibbon. And that'll be our third draw. So Ak Eek Chi should do it. That ties it up. And there we go. Hey, what's going on here? Lechuk, you colossal idiots! I order you to cease this at once! And here comes the hey, head wait smacking. A you can't do this to me! I'm Ozzy Mandrel! I'm the future of the Caribbean! I come in! Stop! Don't! Ah! Oh, yeah! yeah! Oh,
That's got to be the end of the chuck, right? Elaine, For good Grandpa. this time? Darling. Uh, Jojo. <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> Guybrush, how can I ever thank uh, you for reuniting me with my granddaughter? Well, for starters, you could put on some pants. Yeah, that might be nice. <laughs> Consider it done. Also, yes? Would you please be the governor of Melee Island again? Uh-uh, no way, no how. I hated being governor. Well, why do you think I went all the way to Australia in the first place? For the cuisine? <laughs> Grandfather, please. I can't stand being the governor. It's no way for a pirate to live. Guybrush and I need to be on the open seas, waving our swords, swashing our buckles. We're too young to become career bureaucrats. Well, <laughs> all right. But you better come by to visit. That was Every easy. month. And I want to start seeing some pirate great grandchildren. Uh, um, <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Yeah. And so mm. the circle of life continues. Hey, you're <laughs> a talking monkey. Oh, uh, Elaine, I'd like you to meet Jojo Jr., the monkey prince of Monkey Island. Well, thank you, noble Jojo, for helping to make the seas once again safe for pirates everywhere. It was my pleasure, Mrs. Threepwood. But now I must be going. Somewhere out there, my monkey brothers and I have a destiny to fulfill. Where what will you destiny? go? I don't really know. I hear that Martha's Vineyard is nice this <laughs> time of year, but first we have a crew member who wants to disembark. Who's that? Timmy! Oh, Timmy the monkey! Farewell, everyone! I forgot he was on there. Goodbye, Jojo! We'll never forget you! I guess he's staying here. Of course I'll never forget him. I mean, he's a talking monkey. How creepy. <laughs> it's true. I kind of like Jojo Jr. though. Well, that's it. We saved the mansion, found your grandfather, and once again made the Caribbean safe for bloodthirsty, grog-swilling reprobates. Phew. Who knew married life would be so much fun? Skybrush, now that Grandpa's governor again, we're free. <laughs> we can go wherever and do whatever we want. Uh, I want to be a pirate. I want a life-size chocolate pirate ship. Have you got any snacks? I'm starving. I want another shot of taming the manatee. Um, what's the most guy brush out of these? Probably the chocolate. Let's go for snacks. <laughs> That's probably the most guy brush answer, isn't it? Have you got any snacks? I'm starving. <laughs> hey, Elaine. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 Timmy. <to me. laughs> And there it is. Escape from Monkey Island completed. Man, it's been fun playing this game again after all these years. My favourite ever game. Um, I mean, I've completed it so many times before, but it's been really cool playing it again. I haven't played it for, oh, it must be about 15 years now. Maybe a bit less, 12 years, something like that. But it has been unbelievably fun to play it on the channel and um, share it with all you guys which is what this channel is really about. Um, I mean, it has its flaws, doesn't it? I know it does. The controls are annoying, but actually I think if they'd if they'd made it with a point-and-click interface instead of the sort of bulky keyboard controls, I actually think it would have been a pretty good game and it would have been much better received. I think it's the fact that sometimes it felt horrible to play that put people off this game. But actually, I think having played it here... It's actually a really good game. The story's funny. I mean, the humour's there. The, the story's actually quite gripping as well. It's, there's a lot to it. The puzzles are good. I like all the characters, even the fringe characters, the islands we go to. I just think it's a really great game. And it's massively underrated, in my opinion. The soundtrack's pretty cool as well. I mean, I'm going to do a full write-up of it, to be honest, over on my, um, my Medium page, um, which you can find if you go to medium.com slash at Tyrion Shepherd. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to read up on my um, full sort of in-depth review of the game. Uh, a little bit of a recap in there as well. But yeah, I think hopefully I've shown people that this game is actually pretty good, despite what people remember of it. Um, and I hope one day it does actually get a sort of a remaster with a point-and-click interface instead of the bulky controls because actually on the PS2 when they had the overhauled control system it was pretty good fun. Um, I had a lot of problems with the controls on this playthrough but 
it didn't take away from my enjoyment of it too much. And Monkey Combat, if you write things down and sort of listen to what Jojo Jr. is saying, it's not that complicated. Um, it's just more complicated than the other sort of insult games. But yeah, all in all, I have loved playing this game. Um, here are all the voice actors who provided some of the jokes and things. I mean, yeah, that is going to do it for this playthrough. Um, as I said, full write-up will be on my Medium page, so look out for that. Um, I will let you enjoy the end credits. Um, there is something at the end, if I remember correctly, so we'll hang around to see what that's all about. Um, but for now, just take in all these names who made this wonderful game. Um, and if you enjoyed the series, make sure you hit that like button, because it really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Um, next up, we'll be playing a fan-made crossover game. Um, if you like Monkey Island, then you're going to love it. If you like a sci-fi set of movies which involves a time-travelling car, then you're going to love it. Um, and if you put two and two together from that, then well done. Um, that will be starting on Saturday. So keep an eye out for that because I'm really excited to, to play that game because it looks really cool from what I've seen. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video. And I will see you all next time.
Um, Elaine? <laughs> Jimmy? Herman? Mommy? <laughs> George? Hey, guys! I'm stuck down here! It's Wally? Lindy? Oh, long way down! Uh, Murray? Uh, Sean? <laughs> Murray. Mike? Oh, Jar Jar? <laughs> Jar Jar. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>